Strachan to take this one. And to swing it out for the men running in to come on to. And McLeish coming late. Good header. Andy Gray gets it in. Well worked. Rehearsed corner kick. McLeish timed his run to perfection, and that's why he gets the congratulations. Andy Gray was in where he's usually to be found, where it's toughest, but where the goals are to be claimed. Corner struck wide, McLeish already on his run. Beautifully timed, good header, and Gray there to apply the finishing touch. Andy Gray, his fifth goal in this, his 16th international. Charles for Flynn. Header was over from Thomas. It was a well-worked move with Charles and Flynn creating the opening for Mickey Thomas. But the header didn't test Jim Lake. It's the cross at the end of it from Flynn. Good jump by Thomas. Two defenders not close enough to him. Joey Jones. Slatter's cross blocked. Strachan for Scotland. Tackle by Jacket was good. And so is the cross. Davis! And kicked away by Frank Gray. But Wales beginning to come back at Scotland. And that's raising the Welsh fans. Still Moffat keeping a firm control of the proceedings. Frank Gray. Andy Gray's header and a good save by Southall. Wales will be a bit worried about the superiority in the air of the Scottish strikers. Ball pings around and comes out to Charles. Charles running at McLeish. Davis feels for offside, not upheld. Good save. And Leighton had got his angles right. And he got down smartly, smothered it with his body. Charles makes the opening for Davis. Scott's check looking for offside. The flag stays down and Leighton gets down to block. Scott's goalkeeper narrowed the angle and covered all the possibilities. Strachan called for a good save from Southall. Off. Taking the return from Andy Gray, now it's Brazil. Andy Gray to Bannon. Frank Gray. Bannon again likes to check back onto that right foot, and his Goff coming for a free header. And he should have done better with it. Credit to him for the position he got himself into. But a black mark for the finish. Good cross from Bannon. Good run by the fullback, but a bad header. A couple of minutes from half time. Neri, Sunis, Andy Gray, Frank Gray. Bannon had made a good run across the penalty area with nobody going with him. Brazil almost got the touch that was needed, and if that had turned into another goal for Scotland, Wales would have had their own lack of concentration to blame for it. The pass was played across, Bannon had made a run that nobody had spotted and allowed him to turn it back again and Brazil only just finished, just missed applying the finishing touch. Early. Good idea by Sunis, but the pass meant for Brazil was cut out by Nicholas. But it's still Scotland through Strachan and Goff. Nicholas after him, but Goff crosses and the header away goes to Sunis who shoots wide. Graham Sunis, who uh, so often for Liverpool picks them up from about that range and plonks them back on target, put that one wide. A 
there's evidence that the referee was correct to give the corner just a moment or two ago at the other end. Andy Gray against Ratcliffe, appearance by Slatter, touch from Jacket, and now Goff for Scotland. Strachan. Bannon and made the run, and that made the gap for Strachan, and he could go all the way. Good save by Saldor. Bannon, and Bannon's shot is wide. But Eamon Bannon there did a very good job indeed for Gordon Strachan, because it was his run that took the attention of the defenders. And as he goes across there, Strachan dives through the gap, outpaces the defenders, out comes Saldor, and that was a good save. Ball then deflects here, and Bannon gets a chance, and wasn't as wide. Dundee United looks a very different player indeed than he did in his spell in the Football League. Hitting this corner high and wide, Strachan chasing it. Sunis. Side of the foot. And the keeper fumbled it. Brazil. And the goal is given. Brazil gets it. After a fumble by Saldo. Turned across by Strachan. Then Sunis. And as Saldo comes for it. I think soon as that uh, Saldo was thinking about the possibility of a foul there, but after the confusion between Saldo and Ratcliffe, Brazil scored easily. Midway through the second half, it's Wales nil, Scotland two. Alan Brazil's first ever goal for Scotland. season for Wales has not had a very distinguished afternoon here and he caps it here after Charles has done the donkey work for him with uh, a terrible slice when he tried to aim it up into the top corner but Brazil beaten by Jones and Wales for the moment looking decidedly rocky but perhaps Davis can do something to restore their confidence Nicholas and a complete miss kick by Thomas with the goal gaping. Nothing going right for Wales at the moment. Davis taking it up down the right side. Miller, de defender, challenging as Davis checks back inside, rolls it across. Then Nicholas takes over and Scotland being pulled about, but Thomas tried for the right foot when the left would have been better. Charles against McLeish. Corner. Wales have just left Peter Nicholas back to guard Alan Brazil. And the other nine are all forward. And that looked like Andy Gray's hand reaching for that. Price was up. Thomas goes for it and misses by inches. That was a better effort from Mickey Thomas. Very typical of the little man. Athletic and acrobatic. Really only a half chance then. Andy Gray went up with a hand. Here it's anybody's. And now Thomas, overhead, very well done, just over. Move, cut out, and the move starts again with Goff. Neri. Sunis. Bannon, so good international again. 
Looked over a good cross for Andy Gray. Disappointment for the Wolves striker. Saw a chance there. Thought he was going to make something of it. Bannon once again does well going for the line and hoisting over the high cross. Gray jumps and he scraped the paint to the post. Brazil. Neri. Brazil. Neri. Goalkeeper touched it. Credit to Saldo for a good save there. Brazil had been well involved here, setting it up for Neri. And yes, that was a very good save. That was heading for the corner. And that was a beautiful move with McLeish coming on the dummy run and Goff getting the header. Scotland have looked very good and inventive from the corner kicks. And here's Davis now. Snatched a bit at the shot and pulled it. Didn't have a lot of support. Came to Davis, won two touches with the outside of the foot and then pulled it with the instep. Slatter. Tackled by Andy Gray. Brazil. It's given it away to Charles. And Charles tries one. And he got hold of that. About a yard wide in the end, but it was swiftly taken and beautifully struck. You see he's only five yards over the centre circle. Let's it run a few more and let's fly. And wasn't far wide. Two central defenders from Aberdeen have done very well for Scotland. And Davis throws himself in for a header that might just have brought Wales a consolation goal at the death. But, uh, Davis, as you see, far from 100%. from this throw by Joey Jones long into the goal area headed on by Charles helped further across and just eluding Davis's dive Free has added on two minutes and that he decides is enough Scotland record their first victory on Welsh soil since 1973 thanks to goals from those two men Andy Gray on the left and Alan Brazil on the right their willingness, mobility, strength and finishing power, the real difference between the two sides, the jubilation and the celebrations, Scotland's, Wales, meanwhile, go away to bemoan their absent strikers, not least Ian Rush. Final score at Ninian Park is Wales nil, Scotland two.